guys, I appreciate all of your comments. I really do. And this video, though, I think it's highlighting my favorite comment of all time. At least, at least yet. This is the best comment yet to ever hit my channel. Now, a week or so ago, I did a video on Trevor Noah going after Kanye West because of um, his perception that he was, you know, downplaying and degrading black American black women. And my entire point is that Mr. Noah, you're not from you're not from America. You know, in one of the, the comment uh, above this one is, oh, well, he's an American citizen now. So and cool, by all means. But once again, that does not give you the proper perspective, right? Like it doesn't give you the, a legitimate perspective just because you you got here and you became it's like me going to South Africa. Right. And then saying to the South African Kanye West, hey, South African Kanye West, you don't downgrade and display South African women. I don't know. I'm not from South Africa, so I can't tell you that much about the way they've been raised or the way that they've been conditioned as opposed to what's taken place here in the United States. But this comment right here, I was like, you know what? I got to do a video on this because I haven't actually done a comment video in a while and I should do a broader one, particularly with the bitch you comments that I get and I'll consider it, but let's just get into what the expert genius, my God, has to say, all right? <laughs> uh, you try being black in America. Uh, okay, like, do, do, I, do I sound like I'm not American? Um, <laughs> I was born in uh, North Beth Israel in North New Jersey, Mr. Uh, expert genius, so... I, I I think I, I'll give it a shot. I will do my best, darn it. But uh, yeah, I've been black in America my entire life. Come on, man. Seriously. It don't matter where you from. What you come to America and you're black, what you come to. Did you did you mean when? I can't help but feel like you meant when, Mr. Mr. Genius. And you're black. You're going to get treated the same as if you lived here for years. Yeah. Yeah, you, you you will be treated the same as if you've been here for year, but been here for years. But that has absolutely nothing to do with your perspective, right? Particularly that of Mr. Trevor Noah, because Trevor Noah is a millionaire. He's doing rather well for himself on um on the Daily Show, at least financially. The show itself is not funny at all. They really keep trying to push Trevor Noah. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not for him. Um, but yeah, like he's another one of these media types uh, like that are come that come here and tell us Americans, those who have, because guess what? I mean, I've been black in America my entire life. I know this country better than quite a few people who've been here their entire lives as well because of the experience that I've had going from living from coast to coast, literally from California to New Jersey. I've been all over this nation. And so when it comes to the perspective that I have and the way I see part women, particularly American black women, be manipulated and uh, maneuvered in such a way, I believe that that gives me uh, quite a bit more um, leeway to speak on the topic as opposed to Mr. Noah, who's just getting secondhand accounts because he wasn't here for all of the other craziness, right? And as well as, um, you know, he has writers in his writer room that will sit there and, you know, oh my goodness, we got to defend black women. That's never been my position at all on this channel. My position is if you're right, I will defend you. If you're wrong, hey, I'll call it out. It's not, it, it, I genuinely believe right and wrong to be, a, a, to be very black and white and nine times out of 10, I am willing to leave a caveat for the gray area. But when it comes to how people are treated in this country, a lot of it has to do with them. As someone who goes out of his way to try to treat everyone with a certain level of respect, uh, I can fully attest that if you treat people decently, you will be amazed by how kind hearted and generous people in this country are. I mean, it will blow your mind with, with the amount of good people that live here. So I, I can't help but feel like Mr. Noah goes on television night after night to propagate the victim narrative that 
a lot of people have really purchased into and i can't be but believe that the expert genius is amongst them and because this this is video and a, and a lot of like this this video is probably the most ratioed video that i have as far as likes to dislikes it's but the deal is that a lot of people who are disliking it aren't in the comments and i tell i tell you guys almost at the end of every video i'm here for my comments i i definitely want to hear people who see things differently than me and that's why we're going over this one right here for you to try to downplay it because he's from another country but now lives here shows your ignorance oh my goodness yes i i it really does show my ignorance to bring out the reality that mr noah he's yeah you can become an american by all means like you can get citizenship here all day but that doesn't mean that you have any type of better insight or knowledge about how uh, a lot of the perceptions and, or the perceived, um, uh, what's the name? The perceived, I guess, um, conflict within our culture here goes. And that's just a fact, right or wrong. That is a, a simple fact that if I, if you were to go anywhere, right? If you were, let's, let's, let's take it from geography. Let's go to religion. If I were to become Jewish, Okay, cool. I'm Jewish now, but that doesn't mean I get to go into a temple and tell this temple, hey, you're getting this wrong. You've gotten this wrong all this time. They look at me like, bro, who are you? Why are you here? Right? <laughs> like if you ain't if you ain't rocking with us, then then be on your way. So uh yeah, Mr. Genius. The, I've been I've been black in America my entire life. All right. I love this country. It's uh, it really is an amazing place. And I love the fact that people can come here from other nations and be able to make something for themselves that they weren't able to get in their nation. But that doesn't mean you get I'm going to give you a free pass to crap on, you know, a brother such as Kanye West. When you're speaking, you're, you're, you're basically a puppet. You're not speaking anything from your own lived experience. You're just listening to people who complain all day anyway. Like this has nothing to do with you because the moment you like, I don't want to say the moment he hit American shores, but it damn sure feel like the moment he met, he hit American shores, he became a millionaire. And once you become a millionaire and you, and you, um, leave the, leave the working and, you know, middle class, bruh, you have no, you have no say, no, no say. I'm sorry. Uh, that's and, and I guess me, I don't know if I did this or, did this or not during my video, but it's not that you don't have a say. It's just that you say you say is stupid and misinformed. I th I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Your say, like you can have an opinion all day, but that doesn't mean that you have any deep insight. It just means that you have an opinion about something that you really don't know much about. I mean, it's just like assholes, right? Everybody got one. You are entitled to it, but. The difference is that you sit on a national on a nationally televised show and propagate this victim mentality, this victimhood. Oh my goodness! Oh, we have to go and protect black women. No, when when black women, particularly here in the United States, right? They've been talking about how they can protect themselves. They're strong. They're independent. They don't need no man. So, boom, sis, go ahead, have at it. No one's stopping you. But what happens turn around oh my goodness well this sucks and this sucks oh life is so hard you made life harder on yourself it happens and, and trust me this isn't just a black woman thing this is really an american woman thing uh because that poison that feminist poison has just spewed all over the place but when it comes to um somebody from outside of the community deciding oh yeah we're, i'm gonna have this opinion and i'm gonna spew it on national television i'm gonna be like wait wait wait, 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 wait bro you, you're coming from a place of ignorance because yeah this has been set up for a very long time but with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it well toss it a like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch shooting alike aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here and speak let me know what do you think in the comments because like i said my comments is open and i have absolutely no problem with people who have like disagreeing with anything I, in, that i say in my videos that's why I do so many because I I'm not scared of oh man I'm gonna you know uh, how do I put this I, I'm not gonna go back on anything that I say all right if I say it I am happy to explain why I feel the way that I feel and if you disagree I would love for you to be able to explain how you feel the way that you feel 
and I don't really particularly think it's a great explanation, but his first sentence is, you try being black in America. (laughs) It's just like, uh... You do real like uh, well. Then again, maybe not because people will come in. They'll watch one video. I have hundreds of videos up here. People come in, watch one video, and oh well, you know, and not really know anything about me. But if you're a long time steady watcher, you know uh, enough. You know that yeah, I am a descendant of American slavery. My family's plantation was in South Carolina. I've been there. I've 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 I've, I've told them. I've I've prayed and told them thank you for your sacrifice and everything that you did. And it's up to me as a descendant of these people to do what I can to, you know, write the ship, particularly a ship that's been, you know, just cast aside so many different times. Nothing but manipulation, nothing but distractions, nothing but, you know, policies that have been sold to us as, oh, this is going to be this great thing, when in reality is nothing but a red herring. It's nothing but uh, a Trojan horse to destroy our communities. And in many ways, I feel it. And I'm not sitting here saying that this is definitely what it is, but in many ways, I feel that people like Trevor Noah and Tre- even Trevor Noah himself are a part of those Trojan, Trojan horses that have absolutely no problem making tons of money, destroying the black or, you know, continuing to make sure that the American quote unquote black family is just nothing but destroyed and dismantled. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you because this is one of the most uh, disliked videos I have. The Kanye versus Trevor Noah thing, but I ain't worrying about it. Uh, Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. Share because sharing is caring. And speak. Let me know. Uh, Did I already say this? You know what? I tend to do that, but I go on my rants. Either ways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until the next one.